have a level of vision, they'll be able to see light, distinguish between light and dark. John Russo goes in two, Mikhail Zimmern in three. And Alexei Fedina, I love watching this man swim breaststroke. He's a world record holder in a very impressive 103.91. Daniel Sharp from New Zealand, can he challenge the big Ukrainian in lane four? Roman Dubovi from the Russian Federation in six. And the man in the outside lane, Peter Prundaru from Romania in lane seven. Just six swimmers in this final. Fedya really is impressive when it comes to the art of breaststroke. Alexei Fedya. It wasn't so long ago that Great Britain took a gold medal at the Olympic Games 1980 in the name of Duncan Goodyear with 63 seconds and Fedya can swim 63 seconds. So closing the gap on able-bodied sport, really showing off his ability here in the men's 100 metres. Breaststroke and away nicely. Look at the distance travelled under the water, my goodness. Set the world record in Berlin on the 4th of July 2011 when he took the European title. And a full body length clear of Sharp. Sharp just about in second. Zimin looking good in lane number three. Just one lane down from Fednia. Looks like Zimin might, he was long into the touch, but he's there. 174 though. Sharp almost two seconds down on Fednia. 29.77, well I can tell you, you can swim 62 seconds off that, the world record is on and this man continues to power away. He's just about spot on the split that he was when he set that world record. Oleg Sivadina from Ukraine coming in, look at that stroke, keeping it long, keeping the power going right into the last five. The record stands 103.91 and it's gone 103.58. Oleg Sivadina, what a display of breaststroke from the Ukrainian swimmer. He slices half a second off nearly from the world record 103.58. 5-8 for Fedina from Ukraine. Absolutely, 29-77. I've actually seen competitors swim 61 off such a fast split time. I for sure believed he'd knock in a 62. Just slips away a little bit to 63-58. But it won't be long before this man perhaps gets down to 61 seconds. Forget the 62s because he could have done that tonight. It was a world record though by half a second and a great gold medal. Went very deep on the dive start, but that's because he needs to go the distance. The deeper you go, the further you can go, but you need the power to travel at speed and get back up to the surface. Changing body angles underwater all the time to get to the surface quickly and not decelerate. But look at the muscles, muscles on top of muscles there across the shoulders of this world champion, Alexei Fedya of the Ukraine. Well, that was excellent swim there. 63.58. Silver medal looks like it's gone to Zimin from Russia in 67. And Roman Dubovi takes the bronze just two 100s behind Zimin.